Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your mid-June reading. Um, I've already pulled the cards just to save time. Um, let's get into it, okay? Okay, so this is the past. This is the future. Excuse me. This is the present. This is the future. These are our career and finance messages. And then we have our additional supportive messages. All right. The bottom of the deck for the love, romance, for the past, present, and future is the Five of Pentacles. So some of you could be dealing with an earth sign. You could feel like there's lack. You could feel lack. Lackluster just came to mind. You can feel like you're not enough for a particular person. You can feel like they're always searching for more. This may just be in your mental, you know, in your mental space. It's not a reality. You just have the feeling of not being enough. All right. In the past, we have the star, the six of wands, the king of pentacles. So we have Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. So in the past, you were healing. You were on your right path. You were having victory with maybe a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or an Aquarius, or Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. You were having recognition. You were getting the recognition, the recognition that you wanted, the promotion the attention that you wanted it made you feel like this person a uh, king of pentacles or with this person what you f how you felt with this particular person any sign you felt like you were on your right path you felt like it felt so good you know it gave you a uh, passion a drive and you also felt like this was a stable person this is a stable person this could be a a future husband wife or just a really stable person in your past okay going forward presently we have the ace of Pentacles the death card and the three of cups so it looks like you want to start there is a new start if you take it this could be a new foundational start in business and career and in, in getting engaged moving in together a large purchase maybe with someone else um, just something that you can build upon but not without an ending happening and possibly taking to this new beginning which is the ace of pentacle maybe with a Capricorn Virgo Taurus you have to, this this energy will make you celebrate also um, you might want reconciliation here with someone could be cancer Pisces Scorpio uh, this could be baby news. Uh, could be dealing with a Scorpio, and there's there's reason to celebrate here. Uh, something ends, but something begins here presently. Okay, moving forward, the future, the full, nice, starting at zero. I think you let something or someone go. A situation go and they're starting over but it's going to be really foundational for you uh, and then we have seven of swords okay the fool the seven of swords and the hierophant yeah it's like you know that there's an ending here and and then you go and you reconcile or you 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 move forward you celebrate the ending before it actually happens physically um that could be foolish maybe that's why the fool is here you need to revise or devise a plan of action and not just be willing to sneak around to skirt around the real issue of going to the eight of swords going to the non the nine of swords and then the ten of swords and having a real ending you can't just live here and rest here in the Seven of Swords. And this could be vice versa. Someone you're dealing with. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Uh, anyone. Um, in regards to something that is uh, traditional. A long-standing relationship. A marriage. Um, 
an, a job, an institution, something like that, you you can't skirt around having to really go through an ending. You can't have a pseudo ending, you know, here. It's not real if you don't actually make it real. Okay, career and finance. The Hierophant, again, yeah, some of you work for large institutions, um, government institutions, the police, the clergy, the, the, the church, just an institution, you know, and at the bottom of this deck is the Knight of Rods, so someone or something's moving fast. You could be taking on the energy of the Knight of Rods, just very passionate about Let's see. The Queen of Rods. The King of Swords. The top. This honestly looks like... You know, maybe there's an abrupt ending, a change in career, in job. Uh, because you're cheating on career and job with something else. I think it gets found out or something comes crashing down in regards to career and finance. Um, I don't think you mind this crash. Some of you may even get demoted by a superior king of swords because you've been kind of flighty, you've been in and out. This also looks like love too, guys. I can't get away from that. Um, there's someone else in the midst of a traditional relationship. The Queen of Wands is here, the King of Swords. Um, some of you could be partner to a King of Swords or a Queen of, Wrong, Queen of Wands. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Something gets found out. Something happens, some bad event. Some event comes and shakes up the energy, makes you move quickly, or another person moves quickly, or you kick something out, or you, I don't know, but you, you want to go reconcile, and that's what you wanted to do, and that's what you manifested with the Nine of Cups, and the Seven of Swords, and the Emperor, and Three of Wands, like you were trying to get away from something anyway, and this could be in career. All right, additional cards of support, memories. We have memories. We have leaving. Yeah. We have a new exercise program. Two additional ones fell out. Finances and moving. Wow. Like some of you, I don't know if some of you like leave, choose to leave a home life or marriage like abruptly or a job abruptly but it's here leaving and moving and I see it here with the knight of wands the three of wands um, the three of cups it's like you move from one situation to another before you even have the death of one because it's almost as if you manifested it with the nine of cups and the three of cups okay okay so we're going to finish this over at patreon and see what this leaving and moving is about um this full card okay so, Cancer, remember, when in doubt, pray. I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. All of my information is below if you want to schedule a reading or contact me for a reading. Uh, take advantage of the one question, $10 reading. Uh, it's one question. It should be yes or no. Is he cheating? Is he coming back? Is she coming back? Is she a liar? Is he a liar? Is the baby mine? I don't know. Whatever. One question, $10. Okay? Take advantage of that. Um and follow me on over to Patreon, all right? All right, take care, Cancer.